time the temperatures drop, we remind you of three P's. Check on people, check on plants, and your pets. Memphis Animal Services is taking in more animals in part because of this week's winter weather. Yvonne Thomas shares how people are stepping in to help. Memphis Animal Services already has a full house, and when the air gets too cold, more animals need help. We've just seen tons of animals we've had to remove that just didn't have adequate shelter for the bitter cold we've experienced. On Thursday, Memphis Animal Services welcomed 65 new guests. This particular impound yesterday did have a, a kind of Noah's Ark uh, manifest to it. Pigeons, chickens, a goat, and a pig all needed a warm place to stay. We brought every single one of them in because they did not have adequate access to shelter and the temperatures were just too cold to leave them there. Most of those animals are with rescue shelters now. Oh, hello, beautiful. But dozens of these cats and dogs still need homes. That's why Jamie Baroff is here with her dog to foster a pup named Rainbow. Um, so I'm off work next week. I was like, what can I do to help? And I saw that um, Memphis Animal Services had posted about it. Jamie will be Rainbow's foster mom for a week, which helps relieve the current strain on the shelter. There's great ways you can help, even if you can't commit long term. You just need to be willing to be a part of the solution. In Memphis, I'm Yvonne Thomas reporting.